back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. If you can please hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video, like today. Now, you guys have been asking for this video for a while, this recipe, and uh, today I'm actually delivering for you, duh. Today we're, going, we're making ceviche de camarón, which is shrimp ceviche, and it is absolutely delicious. You have a chile that goes on top of this ceviche. actually goes well with mariscos and the pozole. I've tried it with pozole and it's bomb. Um, so if you guys want to know, know how I made that chile, I'm going to leave the link below because that's on my Instagram. Now, without any further ado, let's get on to this video. Hello, my beauties. Welcome to Food Friday. Hi! This is what we're going to need for today's shrimp ceviche. I have here two pounds of shrimp, some tomato, jalapeno and serrano, onion, avocado, tostadas, salted crackers, these are saladitas, and some cucumber. Cantro washed and cleaned. This is about one little manojito. The cucumber is actually gonna go into a chile that I actually have on my Instagram. So if you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave the link down below. And it pairs perfectly con este ceviche. And of course, we're gonna need some limes. We're also gonna need some salt and pepper just to taste. And that's up to you. If you wanna put more or less, it's, you know, all up to you. I know some people clean their shrimp before doing everything, but I actually like to chop everything before I clean the shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and chop our veggies. All right, guys, now something that I'm gonna say about the shrimp, you're gonna go ahead and peel the vein if you want. This is totally optional. Unless you are allergic to a little tripita, it's like up to you if you wanna clean it or not. It tastes the same regardless if you take it off or not. But I'm just saying, because I know people are gonna be in my comments saying, oh my gosh, you didn't clean your shrimp or you know, whatever. But I mean, these people go out to eat in restaurants, go out to the boiling crab, and trust me when I say they don't clean those at all. So, I mean, to each their own. It's, totally your preference if you want to go ahead and clean your shrimp completely or not so now onto the limes i'm gonna go ahead and use four limes i'm gonna cut them and juice them remember we're gonna use our the lime juice to marinate to actually cook the actual shrimp here i have the juice of four limes all right guys this is my shrimp i went ahead and cut it a little bit just because i don't want it to be too big on the tostada now to this i'm gonna add some pepper and this is just season it like you like how you like. You could put as much salt, as much pepper as you'd like. Put a little bit of salt. And then here is the juice of four limes. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And that's actually enough to cook this in. I'm gonna go ahead and move it around a little bit. And I'm gonna set in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes. Our, our shrimp is nice and cooked, nice and marinated. We're gonna go ahead and add our tomato, onion, and cilantro. I'm not gonna add the chile just because I just made a chile and it's spicy AF. But if you wanna go ahead and add your chile, go ahead. It's a nice good mix. Let's go ahead and plate this up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my tostadas. And I'm going to put some of this on it. I'm going to add some avocado. You could totally add your avocado to your actual ceviche mixture, but I actually just like putting it on top because I don't like it to get too, too soggy or it's just a little preference of mine, but you could go ahead and put it in your ceviche. I, I did not add my chile to my actual ceviche because this, you guys, is super, super spicy. I actually made this on my IGTV. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you guys can go see how to actually make this. Put this on it. This is why I didn't add my cucumber to my actual ceviche because I put it at the end. Pero se me pasó la mano con este chile, you guys, because it's spicy. <laughs> there you have it. Some bomb tostada de ceviche de camarón. It's absolutely delicious and perfect for this hot weather. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's seriously delicious. There you have it. Bomb ceviche de camarón. I absolutely love this, especially right now that it's super, super hot. 
This pairs perfectly con una michelada con mucho, mucho hielo. It's just super, super bomb. Before we end today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to my girl Julie. She made the taquitos. De, made los taquitos de pollo. And she did what she had to do. Send it to me. And now she's featured. If you want to be featured on the next video, don't forget to tap me, tag me, send me your recipes so you can be obviously featured in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys make it, con, I'm telling you, con la michelada, it's going to pair perfectly. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!